Welcome back to Destroyer 1320 Cooking with E. Today, we're gonna make some chicken fried rice. Back in a minute. So for today's uh, trip on the griddle, we're gonna go ahead and use some onion powder, adobo, garlic powder, hoisin sauce, which is the secret to making it taste like you bought it from a store, teriyaki, and soy sauce. We'll go ahead and get the chicken, we'll get started. Okay, I got my chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Thanks to my wife for cutting this up. I'm just going to go ahead and spread it out a little bit before I season it, just so most of it's touching the griddle surface. Woo! That's getting hot. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start out with some adobo. Now these are really small chunks, so I'm going to try not to over-season them. A little bit of garlic. And don't leave it close to the griddle. <laughs> kind of got a little hot. Some onion powder. All right, let's go ahead and mix these things up a little bit. Got to practice tapping and all kinds of stuff to keep everybody interested in what you're cooking. Just chuck it around like that until it's a little bit brown on the outside. You want to make sure we don't serve anybody some raw chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, one other secret to making sure your chicken doesn't dry out. Get yourself some water here. Make sure the cat don't stick. Just give it a little soak. I do that about two times during the cooking process. Just uh, helps keep a little bit of moisture in there while you're cooking it. Okay, once you get your chicken where you want it, I go ahead and move it off to the side. And then I need to bring on my vegetables. And today we're using some onion, green pepper and carrots. You can use whatever you like. You can put, you know, shoots in there. You can put whatever you want. This is just simple. We had it laying around. I'm going to go ahead and put this over in the side. Just trying to soften up the vegetables. I'm not really trying to cook them. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get those together like that. And then I like to put a little bit of teriyaki on my vegetables just to start out the infusion of flavor and then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of garlic and a little bit of well what was onion powder <laughs> it's asking a question okay just like that and then I also like to take and squirt water under there like this just to give it a little a little bit of steam help soften those things and then probably the most important part of it a little bit of butter just take and grab a pat of butter like that and just chuck it in the middle and just let those things kind of get real happy and as these things get happy I'm gonna go ahead and chuck on my rice but I'm gonna wait a minute because I just got these on so I'll be right back so the other thing I want to make sure you do before you go putting all this together with the rice, take and scrape the remains from when the chicken was cooked. 
take some water that'll help deglaze uh, some of the fat from the chicken or the skin maybe that was on there. Keep your face back if you don't want a facial. Just give it a good, good clean. See the, see the chunks here? You don't want that in your food. Okay, so my next step before I bring in the rice is to put a little bit of olive oil. Just kind of like this. Give it a little spin around with your handy dandy spatula. It's a spatula. Get that coated back up again. Then we'll go ahead and add our rice right to the middle, and this is the hottest part, so. So now what I normally do is I'll just take and kind of level it out, get it kind of flattened out like that, let it sit on there for a second, let's hit it with a little bit of soy, a touch of teriyaki, and then I'm going to wait to use this hoisin until I have everything mixed together and then you put that in, I'm telling you. It tastes just like you went to one of the fancy restaurants. Let's go ahead and keep pushing it around a little bit. Get a little bit of color into it. You don't want to overcook it and have it too crispy, unless you like crispy rice. I mean, texture is uh, different for every palate, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up for a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, the other thing you do while this rice is sitting on here, once again, add a little bit of moisture. Because if you don't add moisture throughout this entire process, you will end up with some pretty dried up food. Okay, the rice is coming along nicely. I'm going to go ahead and chuck these vegetables in here. Oop. There we go. Little. There we go. Little. There we go. Okay, chuck these things up on there. Add our chicken. like that and then I immediately once again hit it with some water the top just flew off that was awesome go ahead and mix it all in it all pushed together and happy like that and then I go ahead and add the hoisin the secret ingredient no one tells you about you don't want to go nuts with it but you need enough to taste it trust me that is the secret mix that in Okay, right towards the end, I like to re-season just a touch. A little garlic, a little onion powder. And then everyone can add their own soy sauce. But I like to put just a little touch. A little touch more of that on there. Onion and garlic. Garlic is uh, makes everything better. And if you ever want to make garlic butter, which at times I do, you use... Uh, clean like white butter not normal butter like you can you can go to the store and look at the differences and you use equal parts of that with soy sauce and then the granulated garlic and you put that together you mix it around in a bowl and you microwave it you pour that on here your family will kiss you I mean they'll freak out they'll be like wow why do we go and spend all this money to get this from somewhere else okay let's go ahead and get this off of here Get yourself a big platter and just kind of chuck it on there. Just 
check it. Got to get them lovely little niblets. Don't let them run away. Ooh, pan. Little pan's getting hot here. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a try. Coming closer. Mmm, gotta get a piece of that chicken in there too. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That house and takes it to a next level. Oh, so good. Go ahead and try this at home. When you do, please, I love reading your comments. Try it out. Give me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the recipe. If you don't like it, be honest. I won't do any more of it. I appreciate every one of you. Please hit that subscribe button for me. It means a lot. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.